Hi. What's up? Um, I need to hijack your meeting. Oh, okay. I need a coach. Uh-huh. I'm pissed. Tell me. Help me. I'm, I need to be in three different places at once right now. And, um, Chaos of abundance. Yes. Yeah. So I'm what's in, going on? No, I'm melting down right now. Okay. I have, I've brought five new deals to the table for investor club mm -hmm. and two of them this morning are bailing and they are sick deals. And I get it. I've got Roland Frazier on my shoulder saying, Chris, less than 1% of all private equity deals go through, but my close rate is way higher than that. And at this point I am. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I've spent months cultivating these relationships and I have these men behaving as boys mm -hmm. that are backing out because they're scared. Both canceled flights. I money out of my pocket, developed the pitch deck, pulled everyone together, had a fly in, got the whole team on board, lined everything up. And now he's just scared and he's backing out and he's not using his words. He's using passive aggressive communication, which doesn't work for me, which means he doesn't respond for days and then he drops an email. And the day of, he's like, I canceled my flight, I canceled my car rental, I am not coming in town because of these five things. And I'm like, you could have called me. And on these five things, we could have addressed them. And by the way, on three of the five, they don't even make sense. You just don't understand because you're not using your words to communicate. I'm not worked up. <laughs> so okay, keep venting, what else? Uh, dude, and then the second one yesterday, like we have gone, I've, I've lined up this private chartering airline company and I am blowing it out of the water. I'm bringing my commitment. I've lined up the money. I've lined everything up. And the operator is getting stuck on tiny little details that he just basically this morning, he just said, hey, I'm canceling my flight. I'm not coming in town. Let's spend more time working on it. And my response is, you don't get more time. I gave you my best deal and you negotiated so hard to have a win for you and less for me. And I was still going to take the deal. And our partner literally flew private in town, which, you know, cost $20,000, $30,000 to be here. And we're showing up empty handed with him just saying I've bailed. Two men, same issue. I'm playing with amateurs. And I just, I'm pissed right now. I got to connect with you. I got to give this motivational message to the sales team. I have to figure out if I can salvage any one of these deals. And it really Fs with my entire investment club plan that starts tonight. Mm -hmm. Is there more? No. Did you press all the buttons? Is the entire crock pot vented? Yeah. <laughs> okay, deep breath. I was once a child. Mm -hmm. I'm behaving one like one right now. And you know what? There's still a little inner child that gets to behave like that because oh. that's appropriate for a minute. And as soon as it stops being appropriate, that gets to end. I have, and I, then the Chris I, have Fr I have pulled out all the stops. You have. And guess what? You're Chris freaking Chrome. Yeah, I know. I know it feels heavy sometimes because that's what you've made it. And you need just beast yourself to lift stuff like this every single day. This is just your next big success story and you know it. I know, I know, I know. I'm just like right now, I'm just really pissed at these two guys. Uh -huh. Because it, what they, they think that the deal is still salvageable. And for me, I'm like, you don't get more of my time. Like if we couldn't arrive at a winnable there, I'm out. Because by the way, when the moment showed, when I brought the money, the capital, the investors, when I brought the resources, when I put it all together and I built a plan when you had none, and now you're bailing, go back to small. Oh, they were, uh, they've got great opportunities, but uh, I'm bringing too big of a game. Oh. Okay, so. That's where I'm at. Okay. So what do you need in the next 30 seconds? Just coach me, Marianne. Okay. Deep breath in. Do you remember this morning when we were lifting? Uh, yeah. And you were talking to one of the guys. I think it was Ryan. And mm -hmm. you said, you need to see 9 and 10. Right now, you can only see 8. Yeah. Right now, Chris, you're only seeing 8. And that's what's frustrating you because you're arguing with reality. You need to see 9 and 10. What's the 10th set for you this week? Um, I'm raising my standards. Uh -huh. Does that come with heavy lifting? Yeah. Does it come with stretching? Yeah. Does it come with tearing muscle? 100%. Does it come with tearing business muscle? Oh, yeah. Why? That's how we get order. stronger. Yes, exactly. Yeah. What happened the last time you stretched? What happened the last time you raised your standards? We got bigger. We yeah, got we better. did. By how much? A lot. So why is this perfect? Uh, because 
I need to change my standards and I need to cultivate twice as many opportunities. And I need to assume that people that are going to choose weakness in the end or that I'm just not the right fit for them. I need to cultivate enough opportunity so that people have the right to bail and I can say good luck and be okay with it. And you get to feel okay with it. I'm frustrated right now because I assume these deals were locked down Mm -hmm. and I don't have backups in place and that's on me. And I'm pissed. I'm not pissed at them. I'm pissed at me because I thought I was going to come in at the finish line barely with everything I needed. And now, and now I am falling short because I, I'm just saying I'm falling short from something I didn't know or that I, I thought that I could play the private equity game more successful than the others with a closing rate that I wouldn't have to deal with this. And the reality is what I need to learn is that I get to cultivate twice as many opportunities. And then when friction arises, I choose out instead of having them break up with me. When I sense the friction, I get to say, I have an abundance of opportunity. Mm-hmm. I'm breaking up with you. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the lesson. Oof. <sighs> it actually feels really good. How much easier does that sound than chasing um, and chasing and chasing? Uh, it means I need to adjust my expectations to create bandwidth for, for doubling down on opportunity. But the lesson must be that uh, I need to be able to, whether, whether they choose out or I choose out, I need to I need to be smart enough to cultivate enough opportunity, okay? Can I offer a suggestion? Mm. I'm inviting you to change the word need to choose. Choose. I'll try it again with choose. I choose there to is. cultivate double the opportunities so that I have the right and luxury to choose out of relationships. And if they choose out because there's too much friction, then I'm okay. Mm-hmm. It feels great. I love it when people self-eject. Yes, because on Saturday, the same thing happened with someone I've been spinning up for three months and they can't even get to a meeting brought to the table. And on that one, my wife said, why would you do that to yourself? Why would you put them in your life? And I thought, you know what? You're right. I'm out. And it was liberating. Yeah. All right. Okay, now I just need to clear the juju Mm -hmm. and get back to work. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, that we're not a fit for each other. I'm wishing you guys absolutely the very best of luck. I hear that you may want to renegotiate to see if we can arrive at something. I don't have the bandwidth for that. I think I gave it my I gave it my best shot. And if this doesn't work for you, I'm out. Thank you for giving me the gift of your time, uh, the privilege to entertain an opportunity. And while we're not a good fit, that just means there's something better for you guys. Better for you. Best wishes. I forgive me. Mm-hmm for not cultivating adequate opportunity for what I needed at the finish line. I'm gonna add another icing on the cake. I love. I love that there's so much opportunity in this world that we can get all the way down to the end of nearly closing a deal and back up because it's just not perfect enough. And that's what makes it such an amazing and awful game to play because my old interpretation is that to bring something that close to the finish line and not get the satisfaction of completion and closure used to be frustrating. And from this moment moving forward, I'm the one Mm -hmm. that can bring something all the way down to the bottom of the ninth and I can pull out. If that's the right thing if to it's do. Perfect. Yes. And both parties get the right to do that. And I cultivate easily and effortlessly enough opportunity that I reserve the right to always pull out before last minute. And that's perfect. I love that. That's what I needed. I might be back for a few minutes to prepare for the upcoming meeting. Okay. I'm gonna let you in person handle it. Okay, we have a lot of good news this meeting. It's all written ready with you on the board. Thank it's you. Celebration time. I got this. That's right.